hey everybody so <laughs> i'm back and i am a little i'm looking funny aren't i because i don't have a wig on I just have my hair in these really kind of janky braids you have to forgive me i've been mia from youtube for about a week and a half almost two weeks because i burnt my hand i burnt my hand with like secondary burns and so i've had like a hard time the past week just doing my hair braiding my hair just wanting to do anything like even makeup so i'm finally feeling better my hand is finally like healing up it just doesn't have any pigment in it but sorry that i've been gone for so long you don't need to like say oh i'm so sorry i hope you feel better i feel better <laughs> so just let's skip into the tutorial so today I wanted to do a video on how I kind of adhese my wig to my head and still like kind of have some of my edges out because the way my forehead is set up, I always prefer to have a little bit of my natural edges out when I'm um, doing my hair. So, so what I did is I just washed this wig. It's actually still a little bit damp, but it's okay because we will style it later. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what process I go to or go through to adhesive this to my head and actually get the edges like stuck down where they don't move. I don't always like doing this, but I do it um, just because there's a certain look I go for and usually I don't actually adhesive my edges down at all. So I'll show you like one side and then I'll show you what I usually do on the other side. you can see it's a pretty good match um, with the lace I don't actually put any cap between my hair and the wig a lot of people say that you should do that if you want to go for it I personally just don't I'm actually thinking about getting this hair like taken out of this wig and then just getting it put into a sew-in so I might actually end up doing that soon but I haven't had a sew in in so long, I don't know if I would know how to act. This is freshly washed hair. I have just been air drying it, so that's why it looks really voluminous up at the top. It usually doesn't look like this after I finish styling it. So, just FYI. But I just wanted to show you guys a little bit of what I'm doing, so. My hair is braided for the most part, except for my edges. So what you're gonna see me do is take this lace and I'm going to pull it down. When I pull it down, you see that my edges are out. The way I cut this, I have it to where this part of my edge will always be out. And then this little part of my edges will always be out as well. What I'm doing is I'm going to be putting, I think you guys can see it, I'm gonna be putting the way down on that kind of piece of scalp that's showing, that's what I'm gonna be adhesing down. And then I'm obviously going to get this part up here adhesed down. And I'm gonna do this part up here with hairspray, just because it's easier. Um, and it comes off a lot easier. And then the same thing for this, where you see like that little gap, that's where the wig is gonna get like stuck down at and then I have some baby hairs that we blend in <laughs> I have some baby hairs that we blend in so it it sounds weird doesn't it but in the end you'll see that it actually looks pretty good and it ends up looking really natural and being like really kind of all cohesive it looks like it's growing out of my scalp um so yeah so this is the part that I always do. I always, always, always hold my wigs down using some type of hairspray. You're gonna hear me say this a couple times in this video, but you can use basically any type of hairspray for this part. And it'll just keep your wig held down to your head. And it's really simple. But then the next part that I'm gonna do is actually using the Black Got To Be Ultra Glued Gel. And that's gonna be used to hold the sides of my wig down. Thank you. 
you can use basically any hairspray to get your wig stuck down at the top you just kind of let it dry out a little bit and get tacky and then you should be able to like adhesive your wig so this is the way i put my wigs on every single day is i just put hairspray on but on the sides you have to wait for this to get dry like if you don't wait for this gel to get dry you will have a bad day and your hair will get like gross and white um so what i'm gonna be doing is literally just kind of i should have done this earlier but i'm gonna be pulling this part back really quick i don't know if i have a clip so i'm just gonna kind of like put this part back and see hopefully it stays and i'm gonna go and just kind of you can let it wait you can just air dry it out and let it wait to get tacky or you could use a blow dryer so i'm gonna go get my blow dryer and i'm gonna use that really quick just to blow cool air on the areas where i have the black got to be glue gel so i prefer both got to be glue gels but the black one is the one i saw in front of me so i use this blow dryer on a cool level but a high setting and that's just trying to get it tacky enough to kind of hold my side parts of my wig down now this is not a thing that i do every single time i wear a wig but i do do it often if i want to wear my wigs for a couple days at a time so yeah i'm just kind of pushing the edge of the lace down and i'm just going to be flattening that out with my finger if you can refrain from using your fingers and use a comb instead that's always going to be better um and then i'm going to take a comb and just kind of fix my natural edges to where they're not underneath the lace and that's just going to be like to make it look good in the end so you can even put a scarf on this if you really want to and i think that's obviously like a really good way to make sure everything's melted to your skin is if you put a scarf on uh, however i'm not going to probably do that what i am going to do I'm gonna go and now okay so I know I look crazy but literally now is just waiting time so I hate to say it but you literally just have to wait until everything gets dry because both these sides are pretty tacky I don't feel like using the blow dryer so I'm gonna probably wait like 20 minutes for this to dry completely and then I'll know it's stuck down to my head and I won't and I won't have to keep touching it, you know? So you can always just take your comb or whatever you're using and just push it, push into it. All right, you guys, so I'm back. And if you can't tell, <laughs> it's dry. So this side is dry. This side is pretty dry too, but I'm not gonna pull it too hard. So <laughs> I'm gonna take my comb. I'm gonna take my comb. I'm trying not to yell. I'm going to take my comb and I'm going to just try to comb out the hair because I will be blow drying it in a little bit. I'm holding it down only because I don't want any chances of the lace still being wet and coming up. So that's why you saw me holding it down. So we're basically done <laughs> brushing out the hair finally. Okay, so now I went and got a brush and we're gonna brush these edges. Like I said, these are my natural edges. And part of this is my natural edges and part of it is the wig. So the goal is to get it swooped up in such a way <laughs> that you can't tell the difference between the wig and my hair. So I'm just making kind of a swoop motion, trying to make sure that lace blends with my natural edges, but I know you can still see a little bit part of the lace. I don't know if you guys can see how I'm doing that. Now I'm just cutting off some of that like hair in the front just to make sure it kind of blends a little bit better. Now, once this dries completely, gel. Like, my edges still have some like wet gel on them, and so once it dries completely, it'll look a lot more cohesive. 
but I'm just adding a little bit of edge control. I use Hicks Edge Control today. Really, it just depends on what your preference is. Take a little bit more edge control. And now just brushing it down, swooping it up, trying to make sure that we're blending the natural hair in with the lace and the fake hair. And so basically this part takes a little bit of time. It's not always perfect. Today mine's not as perfect as it was the other day, but it still works. I put a little bit of foam and do that. This is the reason I do my edges like that, so that I can put my hair back like this. But right now, not doing any of it. <laughs> right now, we're going to blow dry and straighten my hair. Because it still is a little bit damp. Like I said, my hair was a little bit still damp, so I'm just blow drying it. I just kind of do a over the top, like... I don't mean over the top, I like over the top literally. I just kind of just go like over the hair that I can see and I try to blow dry it dry. And then eventually we're gonna go over the hair with a hot comb anyways. But this part takes a little bit time away from having to straighten it for so long. So yeah, just try to blow dry it pretty straight. So basically the hair is blow dried now. It didn't actually take that long and I didn't get all the spots blow dried but what I am going to do is just probably put some setting lotion on the top of my hair where you see that it's like, you can see the difference. I don't like any volume to be up here so to get rid of that, I'm, I know I'm weird. I don't like any volume to be at the top of my head. I like it to be flat. So. What I'm doing is I'm just going to put setting lotion and I'm going to put a scarf on. And I'm just going to let this scarf sit on my head until I feel that my hair is flat up here, which might, and I'm pull the hair down a little bit just to make sure when I take the scarf off, it'll be really flat. So basically <laughs> we're almost done with this video. When I come back, you'll see the final result of me putting the setting lotion on and the edges and doing everything. And then I'm also gonna show you how I straighten it a little bit more with the flat, with the hot comb. But this is my everyday hair look if I really am trying to wear my wig for like a few days. This is what I, this is exactly what I do. So I'll be back in a couple minutes to show you like the final couple processes. And um, yeah, so, so I just took my scarf off two seconds ago and I went ahead I don't know if you can see I kind of like partially straightened this side and I haven't straightened this side so you can see the difference there's I think there's a difference between it what I've been using what I've been using to straighten my hair is this this is a hot comb um, you can get this at Sally's and it gets up to 500 degrees. But for my wig and for my weave, I usually just use 500 degrees because I think it's fine. You can see my edges are blending in really nicely, even though this whole section right, like from here down, is uh, the wig. I feel like it looks pretty, pretty natural. Um, so yeah, now I'm gonna just go and kind of hot comb this whole section to make it match this section, just to make it a lot more straight and nice. And uh, yeah. So this hot comb is one of my favorite things, especially when it's like on the hottest setting because it just makes it so easy to straighten your hair because you're just like combing through it. You don't have to pay any attention to it. But yeah, don't use it on 500 degrees on your natural hair. I don't want you burning your hair off, like for real. So I'm 
So you guys, this is the final result of my hair. Like, it's super silky. That hot comb I think costs like, I wanna say $60 at Sally's if you wanna buy it, but I can put my hair into a really low, tight ponytail off my face. So the hair now should be able to be pulled off my face like this. It's not a full lace wig, so I can't put it in a bun, but I can definitely do the half up, half down look, or you can do like braids, or you could flip it over to one side if that's what you choose to do, which I actually really like that look when it's like flipped over like that. So, let me make a part. So again, this is a 13 by six frontal. You can part it anywhere in the front, any on any side and braid it and so on and so forth. But overall, I hope you guys got the idea of what I was trying to do. And yeah, I kind of like it like this. And then if you really want your hairstyle to stay in place or stay flat, you can put setting lotion on it. But basically, this is my everyday look. Um, obviously, I'm more of a middle part girl. I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys like seeing how I style my hair every day and also how I blend my edges. If you do, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!